Hey, so I just cut up three New York strip steaks and now I'm gonna break out the cast iron. Let's do them on the hot plate. Yeah, so check this out. I got a taste for some uh, steak bites. So I wanna make some Cajun butter garlic steak, steak bites. So uh, I was not too impressed with this Uncle Bob's Cajun rub. Um, it's maybe because it's all purpose, I don't know, but it doesn't have enough salt or enough heat in it. So I'm gonna supplement it and mix it together along with uh, gator hammock, gator sprinkle. You can get this on Amazon, it's really good. Good saltiness and good good uh, heat to it as well. So these two together, mixed in this bowl here, this should, this should be pretty good. Along with the butter and the garlic later, that we'll add later. But uh, let's get these going, mix it up. And I'm going to put oil on both the meat and then later in the cast iron skillet, which is over here getting uh, warmed up. But you're going to want to use a high smoke point oil. You don't want to use something that will burn quickly like, uh, or easily, like olive oil. So in this case, I'm using grapeseed oil. Grape seed oil. Um, it can handle some really high heat. Uh, a little bit more. That looks good. Got this pan going. She's smoking hot. Smells awesome already. Could do this inside, but why cook inside when you can cook outside? Let's give these a flip. I see some nice searing going on there. That's awesome. So these aren't going to take long to cook at all. It takes a while to flip them with Big Bertha. Some would use a spatula or tongs. Do whatever you want. It smells great. A little bit more. So yeah, these are not gonna cook long. Uh, less, definitely less than 10 minutes. The unique thing about steak bites is that all, all sides of the, uh, uh, all four corners get uh, some of the seasoning. There you go, that's what happens when you use a spatula. I lost one, but uh, Kenny, our dog, will appreciate that. So it won't go to total waste. So this is going to be a lot of garlic. You might be horrified, but I love garlic. And here comes the butter. And we're going to scrape the bottoms off that pan as we mix it up. So the leftover grapeseed oil that was in the pan, um, that's going to help the butter not to burn. Obviously, I'm not going to keep it in the pan at a searing temperature either, but uh, that butter will be just fine. Not sure if I have enough. Add a little bit more. Adjust the heat. Well, there's the finished product. I poured uh, what was in the pan on top of the steak. And I think it's time to taste it.
Mm. Very good, very good, very good. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.